Hello, I'm Tom Wright speaking to you from my study in Oxford in England, and I'm going to talk about the new book which I've just written, which is about to be published, God and the Pandemic, a Christian Reflection on the Coronavirus and its Aftermath. It's published by SBCK in London and by Zondervan in Grand Rapids in the United States, and it's coming out as an e-book and an audio book, more or less straight away, and then it'll come out in soft covers fairly soon after that, so in the next few weeks. I was excited to write this book because, though originally I hadn't wanted to comment on the extraordinary crisis that we're in the middle of, it's bad enough living through it, never mind talking about it, I found myself involved more and more in conversations with people saying, what is God doing? And is this a sign of the end? And what does the Bible say about it? And I find myself wanting to draw together my reflections about what the Bible says about all sorts of crises and the way in which they converge on the ministry and teaching and death and resurrection of Jesus himself. And I've been fascinated in writing this book to do that Bible study from the prophets and the book of Job and the Psalms coming through to Jesus and then on through Jesus to the early church and the way in which for the early church they weren't looking at disasters and saying, oh dear, it's because somebody's sinned here. They were saying, like the disciples in Antioch when they heard there was going to be a famine, they didn't say, oh dear, it's because this is a call to repent. They said, uh, who is going to be most at risk? What needs to be done to help? And who can we send? And I think one of the messages that we get is that out of the lament to which the Bible calls us, the lament which is there in the Psalms, the lament when Jesus weeps at the tomb of his friend, the, the, the lament which we find in Romans 8 when the Holy Spirit groans within us with inarticulate groanings, out of that lament which we are called to share, then there is a call to action. But we can't just jump straight into that with knee-jerk reactions. Oh, we've got to do this. Oh, this means that God is punishing us or whatever. We've got to spend time prayerfully in that lament, in reflecting on the fact of how helpless we are. And nevertheless, that the God who we know in Jesus is sovereign. He is in control. And out of that, new things may come. New things in church, new things in state. So that's what the book's about. I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much.